Oh my god! Oh, it's not this bottle cap, but this Viking treasure I found on on the internet picture. This is the world's largest Viking silver treasure ever found, and we're gonna start talking about it right now. The world's largest Viking silver treasure ever found was found on 16th of July 1999 on the Spillings farm in northern Gotland, Sweden. The silver hoard consisted of two parts with a total weight of 67 kilograms and consisted of among other things over 14,000 coins, a third deposition containing over 20 kilograms of bronze scrap metal was also found. The three catches had been hidden under the floorboards of a Viking outhouse sometime during the 9th century. Before I continue, I want to tell you that for every like we will donate one cent to animal shelter, so be sure to hit that like for the kiddies. On Friday, 16th July 1999, a team of reporters from Swedish television TV4 were on Gotland. They chose to do a segment on the problem with looting of archaeological sites with archaeologists Jonas Ström and Kenneth Jonsson. Spillings Farm was selected for the filming since about 150 silver coins and bronze objects had been found there earlier by the landowner. With filming complete, Ström and Jonsson decided to continue their survey of the field. 20 minutes after the TV crew had left, they had a strong signal from their metal detector, which led them to the smaller of the two silver catches. A couple of hours later, and only three meters from the first find, they received another signal from the detector. The display blinked, overload, and then it turned itself off. The site was hurriedly cordoned off. Backup crew from the museum was sent for, and guards were posted. However, instead of keeping the find a secret, the Gotland Museum decided to go public with the find immediately. During the first weekend, over 2,000 people visited the excavation site. Some days later, the metal detector indicated a third metal cache, approximately 1.5 meters from the first find. Only when they tried to lift the finds out of the soil did the archaeologists realize how heavy the hordes were. The smaller weighted 26. 7 kilograms and the larger one 40 kilograms. An attempt to x-ray the finds at the local hospital failed because they contained so much silver that the x-ray plates remained blank. The larger find was intact but the smaller had been damaged by a plow. A previous landowner who visited the excavation commented that he had found metal wires around the find spot several years earlier. But thinking that they were only steel wire, he had thrown them away. It was therefore concluded that the treasure had originally been much larger. The silver deposits were roughly square shaped with rounded corners about 40 times 45 times 50 centimeters, suggesting that they had been in sacks of cloth, leather or pelt, inside boxes or chests of wood. The catches contained silver objects ranging from coins, bars, thread and hack silver to be used as raw material to jewelry such as finger rings, bangles and pendants. Much of the material had been bundled up to correspond with the mark weight system of the Viking Age, in which 200 gram made one mark. Almost 60% of the find consisted of 486 bangles or parts thereof, making it the largest ever find of such silver jewelry. Most of the bracelets weighted around 100 gram under the mark weight system and were of traditional Gotland design. A number of them have very detailed ornamentation. There were also bangles of British and Western Scandinavian design, as well as plain undecorated finger rings. You would never guess this, but Finnish and British design known as ring money. Of the 14,295 coins found, 14,200 were Islamic dirhems, 4 were Nordic from Hedebu, 1 was Byzantine and 23 were from 
Persia. The earliest a Persian coin dates from 539 and the latest from 870 AD. Many of the coins as well as the bangles had marks that may have been made when the purity of the silver was tested. There were several imitations and fakes among the coins. The illegal copies were made from good silver but made in other places than the originals were minted. All in all 69 different minting locations from 15 present day countries were identified. During the conservation of the larger hoard it became evident that the larger silver objects was put on the bottom of the cache and the smaller objects were strewn on the top. One of the most noted coins in the hoard dated to circa 800 AD from the Khazar kingdom and designated the Moses coin. According to the written sources the Khazars are believed to be Jews but few objects have been found to support this claim. The coin is inscribed with Moses is the messenger of God instead of the usual Muslim text Muhammad is the messenger of God. With the first two catches taken care of, the third deposition was excavated almost a year after the first discovery. It contained over 20 kilograms of bronze scrap metal, most of which had been partially melted into a cake. This find was deemed even more valuable since very few finds contain such large amounts of bronze intended for smelting. Individual finds consisted of parts of and some complete necklaces, bangles, finger rings, pins for clothes and mounts for drinking horns. The bronze objects span a period of 200 to 300 years and are mostly of Baltic origin or possibly Russian with only a few of them Scandinavian. In the bronze deposit were found substantial pieces of wood and iron such as fittings, iron work, nails and a lock device showing that the bronze had been kept in a sturdy chest. A carbon dating of the chest dated it to approximately 675 AD making it older than the objects stored inside it. An extended survey and excavation revealed the foundation of a building and indicated that the hordes had been placed under the floorboards of what would probably have been a warehouse, shed or storage rather than a dwelling since it had no fireplace. Carbon dating showed that the building had been in use between 540 and 1040 AD. The foundations and the remaining post holes indicated a regular Viking Age structure about 10 by 15 meters with a slanting sedge covered roof much like other similar finds on Gotland. It had been built on an older Iron Age formation. Although silver hoards and treasures are not unusual on Gotland, this was an exceptionally large find. One explanation may be found in the location near some of the island's best and most significant harbors during the Viking Age. The silver in the catches would have been enough to pay the tax to the Swedish king for all of Gotland for five years. Even though several scholars have been involved in identifying the deposition, no consensus have been reached regarding why the hoard was collected or the dating of it. Two theories are that it was either stock of a foundry man living in Gotland or booty from a Viking raid that was hidden under the floor of the outhouse. A finder's fee of over 2 million Swedish kronor was paid to the landowner, although the real value of it is much higher. It was the largest amount of money ever paid for a find in Sweden. The hoard was dated to have been hidden sometime after 870 AD. The treasure is on permanent display in the Gotland Museum. As of 2015 more than 1000 kilograms of silver from over 700 catches deposited between 9th and 12th century have been found on Gotland. This includes 168,000 silver coins from the Arab world, North Africa and Central Asia. That was it for the largest silver Viking treasure ever found and if you like this kind of content be sure to hit that like for the kiddies 
and of course to subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any of our amazing content to come and see you in the next one